Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today we're in our third part of our mini bike powered by a Milwaukee drill. Now, as you know, we're always giving away stuff to subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, push that button and subscribe now. Let's get right into the build. So earlier on in the week, we got the back section of the mini bike all together. Now we're gonna be working on the front, something that's gonna hold the front forks and it's gonna tie the rear with the front. And to do that, we need to make a headstock first. And I'm just gonna be using some bearings that are basically used for trailer axles. Uh, they're a tapered bearing. And I'm gonna make a housing that holds both top and bottom bearings inside. We'll turn that on the lathe. And then I can bring my fixture over and we can install it and then work on tying the two together. So now that we have our headstock all turned up, I press the bearings inside and I put it into this threaded rod. This threaded rod goes into my frame jig. So it uses these tapered bolts that I made with this one inch threaded rod and it tapers into the bores of the headstock or the bearings and it lines it up with itself. So now we can put this into the frame jig just like that and it's adjustable up and down to whatever size you want and then we know that this here is our pivot point and we have an angle or a protractor here that shows us the angle of this um, front end what it's going to be. Usually this jig I use for building motorcycles and I use it the same way. I put this, the headstock inside here, but on the rail here is usually where I mount the engine because I want to square up the engine with the front end of the bike itself. This is a little bit smaller. So we're actually lining up the back arm with the front of the frame and we're going to tie in both together. So to tie in the rear with the front end, first I squared up this back end with the outside of this, the frame rail, and I made sure that the, the bottom pivot, the back pivot is the same height as the front. So it's about six inches to the bottom and this is six inches to the bottom here. You can see, you can also put in the tire there and this is the pivot for the front end. So to tie in the back with the front, I'm gonna be using some two inch diameter aluminum tube. And the tube is gonna go around this seat post and into the front end here, this uh, tail, this front headstock. And we're gonna cope this and cope this here. So what I wanna do first is with my protractor, I'm gonna take a look at the angle of where I am, okay? I don't necessarily want it to be straight. I, can, I wanna make it look pretty cool. So I'm gonna make this on an angle. And whatever that angle is, I'm gonna set it up onto my milling machine and with my coping tool I'm going to cope the end so I can put this tube in or cope the front one or the other and I'll put it in line it up and then I can scribe and line up the front end and once I cope both I'm going to check it and then weld it together. So now I have both parts coped and we're going to do a little test fit here and perfect. Let's just come down a bit more. Okay. 
that. Now I have that first part lined up. A line there, you know where it is. And now I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna cope the reinforcing bars here. And I'm gonna make them a little rounded so it looks more appealing. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna roll form them in an arc on my roll forming machine and then we'll fit them in, cope them, dry fit it, and then we can tack it and start getting it welded. somewhere around here, so I'm going to have to cut it there, actually. Let's bring it down a bit more, so something like this. Just to give the idea of how much I need. Yeah, that looks nice. both pieces cut and put them on here. Something like that. Looks good, nice curve and it's coped. So we're gonna Put something here to hold that in place and then I can tack it and weld it all together. We're going to clean everything first. Now there's one more thing. I have this open tube on the end and I do want to cover that and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that with just a flat piece or I'm going to press out a rounded piece. So I, I might do that. I'm going to maybe work on that because I want to put that, close it off, grind it get it finished before I tack and weld everything else together or else it's going to be a lot harder to do after. So let's work on that, getting that closed off and then I can tack and weld it completely. So to make the end cap, I just got a piece of the tube, cut a piece out of it and I have my die for making the radius and I'm just going to put it like this into my press and I'll press the shape.
So now we have the frame all together. I put the tire back on and now we want to work on the front. So we want to make some front forks. But before we can do that, we need to make um, a steering stem. So we're going to turn up the steering stem and then we're going to mill a little block on the bottom of the steering stem that's actually going to hold both sides of our forks and then we're going to weld that to the front forks itself. So let's make a steering stem and the bottom block and then start working on our forks. Fit it on roughly. I put some, I don't know, some spacers inside here because I don't have this clamp done yet. I just want to be able to mock up the actual front forks. So looks like it turns nice. And so to set up the forks onto the stem that we made, I need to make an axle for the front. So let's turn an axle, put it inside, and then we can work on our forks. So the mini bike is somewhat rolling now. We have our steering on, our frames all done. We're going to work on next week is the hub that's going to hold the disc. So we're going to have this disc here on the inside with a little caliper and we'll have a little bracket for that. And once we have that and our steering, then we can attach a bracket and put our drive motor on, which is our Milwaukee drill. It's going to be exciting. Don't miss any of the videos that we're, we're doing next week. Uh, we should have this all completed. So stay tuned, watch, subscribe, and thank you for all the support you give the channel. We'll see you next week.